Hello, this is Reagan and Sean. Today, we will be exploring the Google Classroom Guardian Emails feature. It's a feature of Google Classroom where you can invite your students' guardians to receive email summaries about their child's work in class. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with Guardian Emails. Hey guys, we're gonna talk about adding Guardian emails to Google Classroom, which is a pretty simple feature, but very powerful. So first thing you'll do is make sure that you're using the correct Google Classroom. Right now we're using the, this test Google Classroom. In the top right-hand corner, you're gonna see the gear for the settings. You're gonna click on the settings and you'll have your class details, like at the name, the description, the code, and so on. And you'll see there's an option here for Guardian summaries. It might be defaulted to be off, um, so it looks like this. And what you'll do next to Guardian Summaries is you want to click it so that it is on. It'll show you a prompt saying, add class to Guardian email summaries. Guardians receive a summary of their students' work and class announcements. It also show some examples right here. There's a checkbox that says, add all the classes you teach to Guardian email summaries. If you leave this checked, all the Google Classrooms that you currently have active will enable Guardian Summaries. If you do not want that, you'll just uncheck this and you can activate Guardian Summaries for just specific classes. Right now, we're gonna add it to all of ours. Once this is enabled, you're gonna to go to the top right and click on Save. And now, assuming that you have students in your class that have already joined, you're gonna go up here to the People tab and under students, you'll have a list of the students that have joined that specific Google Classroom, whether it be your academic one or block two or AP class or so on. And next to the student's name, there will now be a button that says invite guardians. You will click on that button to invite guardians and it'll give you a small text box where you just type in the guardian's email. The best way I found to do this is to use PowerSchool and access the guardian's emails that have been registered with the student. And you are also able to enter multiple emails for one student. So if they want, you know, four different emails to four different accounts, you could also do that. Um, once you have invited your guardians to be attached to that student, there will be a, um, invite in parentheses next to that parent's name you'll know that they have accepted the guardian email summaries when that little invite text next to their name has gone away if it still says invited next to their name you know that they, that they have not enabled it the other cool feature of this is that once one teacher has invited guardians to their google classroom any other Google Classroom that a teacher has that you know shares that student, all they have to do is enable Guardian Summaries and that will also be enabled on their classroom. So if that student shares teachers for math, science, social studies, and ELA, as long as the other teachers have enabled Guardian Summaries on their Google Classroom as well, the parent only has to accept it once and they'll also receive emails from those other subject areas. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow Dear Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.